Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sandy if you're new here and today I am going to make or attempt to make a Mother's Day flower pot card. So this is a project in Cricut Access so just search on that if you want to try to make it. Now it did come with um, some instructions and a photo. So this is what the completed project is going to look like. So it's kind of a 3D uh, looking picture it looks like a flower pot with some flowers in it and a ladybug on front and the instructions aren't very good but it did come with some instructions so I'm going to attempt to make this um, I'm probably going to change the colors up a little and um, you know I might even do some additional embellishing we shall we shall see so let's jump into it I hope you all will join me so here are the flower pots from that and then I just did the very first um, tall flower in the background So this thing has been a lot trickier than I thought. I'm not sure if I've gotten it exactly right, but I've taken each of these score lines or these cut lines and where there was one on the top, I slid it into the one on the bottom and I did that for each one. And then I folded it accordion style like that. So let me show y'all, take it apart. Hopefully they will get back together. I wanted to try another video to help in case you all wanted to make this project because the instructions weren't very good. So after you score them, it's, what I finally figured out is that it said start from the with the first one and you know match them up. So this is how I figured it out and then this one you got to put it middle to middle and then the last one and marry that one up and so then basically you have an accordion and then as you fold it along the score lines you then get this pot and what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to glue these two together but then leave these kind of hang out like that and then the pink and green will slide into that slot then the purple and green and then I think the pink and green just goes on the back and I think I'm going to cut out another blue pot and put that on the back of the pink so it looks like it's inside the pot so i think that's what i'm gonna do and but that i just wanted to show you all that in case you want to make that because that took me a hot minute to figure out how to put that together and i hope that that'll make it a little bit easier for you all and if you find that um a different way or a better way to make the pot please let me know if you try this this first one here and you glue this to this, slide it down in there. And then you take the purple one, slide it into there. And then I'm 90% sure you take this one and glue it onto the back. I am doing the decorating part for this card for my mother and I felt like these needed a little something and so I got my different Distress Oxide inks out and I used, I have this smaller little brush that I use for blending and then also this is Tim Holtz um, with the removable sponges. I'll list all these items down below. But all I did was, and actually I didn't use this color, I used Picked Raspberry for the pink one. And all you do is you get a little ink 
on your sponge and then you just kind of go around the edges. And so that's what I did to just, I felt like they were kind of flat. So I wanted to add a little something something to these. So I wanted to show you what I did. So I kind of I had the pink here and then I did the purple and then the green and then the yellow. And then I did a little bit of dusting of blue. Um, and I, I'm going to do a um, Happy Mother's Day print and cut sticker and put that there. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use the ladybug. I might try to find a pretty hummingbird because my mother loves hummingbirds. So, so that's kind of where I am in the process. And I might even st also do a little bit of em embossing. I might do maybe some embossing on this. And then I think I might glue some little gems into the center of those to add a little sparkle. So that's how the progress on this plant card is coming. Hi, you all. So I'm back, finishing up this card. And I've decided to add a little, a little subtle sparkle. So I'm going to add these little, this is almost holographic little flowers that have a purple. This is what they look like in the jar. And I think I'm going to add them just right in the center of these little flowers like that. I think that just adds, and it'll kind of glimmer as the card moves. So I'm gonna put some glue just right in the middle. Sorry about that. There, that looks cool. And I think I'll do the back because the back shows as well. So uh, there's some glue that probably seeped through. Well, I'll just do the front first. This little glue bottle is great for small little detailed stuff like this. So. And these are my Cricut Reverse Tweezers. And they're great for placing items that my uh, big fingers are too big to place. Sorry about that, you all. My video stopped on me. So I have the ones on the front done. And then I'll do the back. And then I was getting ready to tell you all, I think I'm going to do a little bit of embossing on um, the pink ones. and on this yellow. Okay, 
right, I did a little testing to see um, what color I wanted to use for the embossing. So I'm going to go with this one here. And it is called um, Transparent, basically. So I think that's good. Um, but it has some little, little pond to it. There we go. Alright, so let's do the pink one. I have these um, Wet Looks embossing markers. And um, I've had them a long time, so I don't even know if you can still buy them. But if you can, I'll list them down below. But I am just going to color the tips of these. I got this a long time ago too, so, and I think it might have came with those markers, but I don't remember. I mean, I'm talking 20 years ago I got this stuff. Well, maybe not 20, maybe 18, but a long time ago. But I still like to use them from time to time. I don't use them as much as I should. Hey, that looks like pretty good coverage there. And what's neat is this has a little funnel here, so then I can just pour the um, embossing powder back in. All right, this is going to be loud, so I apologize. Look at that. Hope y'all can see that shimmer on camera. Can y'all see that? Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. All right, I'm gonna do the back. It's like magic. Look at that. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to do the yellow. I think that'll be cool. The yellow goes on this. I wonder if I should do a little in the pink. That might look cool poking through. Yeah, let me do that. I think I could go over this some. Um, ink. I'm going to try. That's pretty cool. And with the embossing uh, gun, or heat gun, it's good to kind of keep it constantly moving. At least that's what I vaguely remember we're supposed to do. Okay. So I think I'm Alright, I was trying to decide 
if I wanted to emboss any of the green, but I don't think I'm going to. This obviously isn't lined up yet, so, but I think what I'm going to do is emboss just the purple tips, and then I am going to cut out another blue and put that on the back, and then I think I might do a little embossing back here, and then I'll be ready to assemble it. So I'll give you all an update. I'm going to glue these together. I went ahead and put some black dots on the ladybug in case I can't find a hummingbird. And then I did this print and cut vinyl sticker. Happy Mother's Day on there. And then I attached everything. So I'll, I'll do a, a side um, video here in a minute to show it's standing up. Alright, here it is standing up. It looks really cute, I think. Alright, here is the final look. I went with a butterfly. I couldn't find a hummingbird. I probably could have made one, but I went with this die cut and I put it up on a little um, sticky pad so it's popped up and I bent the wings a little bit and then I distressed or inked around the edges a little bit so I think it turned out really really nice so hopefully my mother likes it happy mother's day out to all the moms out there and I will see you all on the next video Here's the final look, and then the back where I put the um, blue on the back. So I love how it turned out.